Hello guys and welcome to Differential Equations. In this lesson, we are going to talk about concepts revolving solution of differential equations. Okay? In this discussion, we're going to look at how these are formed by eliminating arbitrary constants. We'll also see how the concept of solution works in differential equations, the different types of it, as well as some general methods in solving DEs. Let us begin strong today by first reading our gospel. Let us remember that we are in the holy presence of God, in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our reading from today is from Psalms 94 verse 19. It says, Whenever I am anxious and worried, you comfort me and make me glad. Our world right now gives us a lot of reason to be anxious and worried. For you, there might be some anxiety over school starting. Perhaps you wonder how well you'll do this year since last semester, online was really hard. Maybe you're not fully into online classes yet, or perhaps the internet connection is really slow. All the unknown can lead you to feeling very anxious. You might have lots of reasons to be anxious. However, God tells us that He is here to comfort you and make you glad. That means that even in the middle of the world that seems in chaos, even when it takes like nothing is going right, you can be at peace. Why? Because you know Jesus. He's the one who will never leave you nor forsake you. He's not going to leave your side. He's always there, ready to help. And he understands anxiety. So today, go to him. Talk to him about your concerns and the things that trouble you. He's ready and willing to help you in any way he can. As Lasallians, let us pray. I will continue, O oh my God, to do all my actions for the love of Thee. St. John Baptist de La Salle, pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alright, so welcome again to Lesson 2 of Solutions. Let us start by discussing first no, our learning outcomes. What do we expect by the end of this lesson? We expect that we will be able to form differential equations by eliminating arbitrary constants. We're going to verify that a function satisfies a differential equation and therefore is its solution. And finally, we're going to solve for general and particular solutions of DE. In the previous lesson, we have defined DE as an equation that relates one or more functions and its derivatives, right? DE can be formed when arbitrary constants are eliminated from a given function. This is what they call the primitive form. No? DE can be formed when arbitrary constants are eliminated from a given function. You still remember in calculus, right? Um, yung arbitrary constants, also known as the constants of integration, they are really important parameters that should not be left off in the answer. I can still remember that dreaded quiz where, I, where uh, an answer of mine was invalidated because I missed putting plus C. Yes, that's how important that is. Now, to form DE, we need to eliminate this arbitrary constants. And we need to keep this things in mind. Number one, for functions with n arbitrary constants, it needs n times differentiation to eliminate the constants. In other words, if there are n number of uh, constants present, that is the same number you're going to differentiate that function to eliminate those arbitrary constants. Now, having that said, since you are differentiating, the number of times that you're differentiating that function is the order okay, of that DE. And finally, number three, a fully formed DE is an expression that is free from arbitrary constants. Now let's try and look right away by solving an example. So eliminate C, example number one. Eliminate C from the given equation, y is equal to 3x squared plus C e to the negative 2x. Let's try and solve this. 
okay so this is um my first time solving it using a pen tablet so please bear with my handwriting so so earlier we mentioned that the number of arbitrary constants present in the DE or in the equation, the function, is the number of times that we're going to differentiate. In this case, it can be seen that we have here two arbitrary, I'm sorry, one arbitrary constant. So see here, and we're asked to eliminate it. So from that concept, we can simply differentiate it once. So let's copy first. No? y is equal to 3x squared plus c e raised to negative 2x. So taking the first derivative of the function, we're going to have 6x plus, or rather, negative 2c e to the negative 2x. All right. Let's call this equation 1. And let's call this equation 2. Okay. So from equation 1, we can actually form an expression of C, no? From We can form an expression for C. So manipulating this algebraically, we're going to have y minus 3x squared is equal to C e raised to negative 2x. So solving for C, for the expression of C rather, we're going to have y minus 3x squared over e negative 2x. So this is an expression for c. Bakit? Where, uh, where are we going to use it? We're going to use it here in our second equation to eliminate c, quote-unquote, to eliminate c. So substituting no, to equation 2, We're going to have, we have y prime is equal to 6, 6x minus 2c, but our c, we have already um, manipulated an equation from equation 1 of c, so we have 3x squared y minus 3x squared all over e negative 2x. So this is c, right? This is that part. Multiplied by e raised to negative 2x. So we can see here that e to the negative 2x cancels out. No? And now we have y prime is equal to 6x minus 2 and the remaining function of the numerator, y minus 3x squared. Okay, expanding, we have 6x minus 2y plus 6x squared. Okay, so simplifying implicitly, no? You can express this. Now, this in itself is already the answer, okay? This is the explicit form where the differential is 
um, segregated to another side of the equation. But um, implicitly, we can also express this as y prime minus 6x squared, or rather minus 2y, minus 6x squared, minus 6x, or rather plus para to, is equal to 0. So y prime plus 2y minus 6x squared minus 6x X minus 6x X is equal to 0. So this is our differential equation that has been formed by eliminating the constant c, okay? So yeah, we have seen, as demonstrated, that the number of constants for us to be able to form the d, I'm sorry, the number of differentiation would depend on the number of constants available if you want to form a differential equation. Let's take another example. So example number two, we have form a differential equation from y is equal to x plus c1 e to the x plus c2 c sub 2 e to the negative 2x. So in here, we have two constants of integration or rather uh, arbitrary constants. So let's try and solve. So we have, okay. I customarily um, write the equation, no? For me not to, um, for me to be able to assign equations easily, no? So it depends upon your preference, but for me, I, I'd like to write it. The kite given na siya, I'd write it pa. So y is equal to x plus c1 e to the x plus c2 e to the negative 2x. Okay. Since, again, we have two we have two constants of integration or arbitrary constants. We have C1 and we have C2. We can solve for the DE or, or the primitive form, the primitive form of the differential equation by differentiating twice. So let's do that. We have Y prime is equal to 1 plus c1 e to the x minus 2 c2 e to the negative 2x. No? Recall, don't forget, that eu du. Alala pa? So, kung ano yung eu natin, if u is negative 2x, then du is equal to negative 2. So in other words, if this is the form, e u du, then we're going to have negative 2 e to the negative 2x. So this one here is the one from here, is, uh, was the one used here. Okay. Since uh, c2 is a constant, so of course it's not included in the differentiation. Okay. Just in case you forget no? or you forgot. Okay, now, proceeding. Let's get the second derivative. We have 0. The derivative of a constant is 0. Plus c1 e to the x. So c1 e to the x. Plus 4 c2 e to the negative 2x. Okay. So... I'll call this equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3 for easier identification, 2 and 3. Now, now that we have our equations here, we have three equations and we have two unknowns. You can see here that this is a System of linear system of equations. Naalala pa from algebra. This is 
this can be solved actually okay, in the note but um notice that these are systems of equations sorry these are systems of equations since we have three equations one two three and two unknowns one two well from algebra we can solve it by means of systems of equations how do we do that we simply eliminate by trying to add um, combination of equations and uh, multiply we add and multiply to eliminate a variable so let's try and do that right now let's say for example i want to take um i want to multiply two to equation one so i want to multiply two to the whole of this and then i want to add it here to the second equation okay because if i do that i eliminate c2 right if i multiply 2 this will get 2 2 minus 2 is 0 so eliminated to and we're left with x plus uh, all that is left uh, with the equation right so the goal is to eliminate the uh, the constant of the arbitrary constant so let's do that so if i multiply 2 eq so let's say i want 2 to be multiplied to equation 2 i'm sorry 1 and then add it to 2. I'm going to get the following. So let's multiply, you know, 2 to equation 1. I'm going to have 2y is equal to 2x plus 2c1 e to the x plus 2c2 e to the negative 2x. And then simply just copying equation 2, kasi wala naman tayong minultiply dyan, we have y prime equal to 1 plus c1 e to the x minus 2c2 e to the negative 2x. Getting the sum of all of this na lang sa taas. Will give us 2y plus y prime. Ito yung ating operator, no? So, we have 2y. The sum will be 2y plus y prime is equal to um, 2x plus 1 and then 3c1 e to the x. And as can be seen, itong ating 2c sub 2 cancels out. So we have here 1 plus 2x and then plus 3c sub 1 e to the x. So I'll call this equation A again say we'll be using this again later on okay so how about another equation equation um two and three no equation two and three so if i eliminate um c2 again here para uh I'll, I'll be left with C1 and I can add it uh, here to eliminate again. If I want to eliminate C2 again, I need to multiply 2 to the whole equation. So let's do that. Multiplying 2 to equation 2 and then adding it to equation 3 gives us So 2y prime equals 1, I'm sorry, 2, multiplied by 2 nga pala, 2, plus 2c sub 1 e to the x minus 4c sub 2 e to the negative 2x. And then copying itong whole equation 3, say we're going to add this, we have y double prime equal to 0 plus c sub 1 e to the x plus 
for c sub 2 e to the negative 2 x. Adding this gives 2y prime plus y double prime equals 2 plus 3 c sub 1 e to the x. And then this one cancels out in 4. So we we're left with 0. Let's call this equation b. Equation b. Now, uh, notice no, and compare equation a and equation b. So since we have eliminated c sub 2 na, uh, we can further eliminate c sub 1 by, again, adding these two up or subtracting. no Subtracting um, equation b perhaps to equation a. Actually, kahit alin dyan, it can be interchangeable. The signs will just change. But uh, ultimately, when you express it explicitly or implicitly, implicitly it, will, it will still give you the same answer. Okay? So let's try and um, uh, uh, solve for, uh, so, sorry, eliminate C sub 1 by um, subtracting equation B, by subtracting here equation B. Let's get C sub 1 here by subtracting equation B from equation A. Okay? Let's do that. So continuing, equation B, equation A. So let's subtract that. Continuation. So equation B minus equation A. gives us equation B is 2y prime minus or plus y double prime equals um, 2 plus 3c sub 1 e to the x. Yan. While equation B, ang operation natin dito ay subtraction. No? So minus, distribute ko na sa lahat para hindi nakakalito. Um, equation A, we have um, minus 2y prime or 2y minus y prime equals 1. Sorry, negative 2y minus y prime equals minus 1 minus 2x and minus 3c sub 1 e to the x. Yan. So 3c1 cancels here and by adding the 2, you're going to have 2y prime minus y prime plus y double prime gives us y double prime plus y prime minus 2y equals um, 2 minus 1 is 1 and then minus 2x. Okay. Now simplifying. Oops. Simplifying, going to have y double prime plus y prime minus 2y equals, or rather, plus 2x minus 1 equals zero no this is the implicit implicit um expression of our answer so yun as can be seen um the first step if you want to form a de is to differentiate it no depending on the number of 
arbitrary constants that are present. So, last example, isa. Second example, dalawa. Now, paano naman pag ganito? Tatlo. So, yan, dahan-dahan tayo. Okay. Let's take a look at example number three. Form differential equation from y is equal to a e, a e to the x plus b e to the negative x plus c e to the 2x. Okay. So, yeah, let's try and solve it. If I'm being too fast, you can um, adjust perhaps the speed and or pause a bit and then proceed later. Okay. So, let's solve. Again, the question was or is form a, a DE, form a differential equation from this given function. So, we're only going to form a DE by, of course, differentiating it. And how many times are we going to differentiate it? Thrice. Because we have 1, 2, and 3 arbitrary constants present. So, solution. Okay. So, y is equal to a e to the x plus b e to the negative x plus c e to the 2x. Taking the first derivative would give us a e to the x pa din y kasi um, e u d u 1 lang to so 1 minus no minus b e to the negative x plus 2 c e to the 2x. Taking the second derivative will give us ganun pa din, a e to the x kasi e u d yung nga plus negative times negative is positive b e to the negative x plus 4 c e to the 2x. Finally, the third derivative is a e to the x minus b e to the negative x plus 8 c e to the 2x. Alright, so let's call this equation 4, equation 3, equation 2, and equation 1. Okay? One, two, three, four. We're doing this again because we see here that these are equations, systems of equations. We have here four equations with three unknowns. And by eliminating the variables, we're, we'll be able to form a differential equation free from the arbitrary constants. Okay. So let's try and find out. Look at it first. What would be perhaps the best um, pairing no? that is possible for these four equations here? Actually, you can choose your own. But um, if you want to save time, of course, you need to um, strategize by looking at the pattern. Ako, I would look at it like this. For example, <coughs> I see equation 3 and equation 1. They are the same. The same in the sense na same sila ng sign. Okay? Well, I can do this, equation 1 and equation 2, and eliminate B right away. Pero ang equation 1 and equation 3, if I negate just one of this, I will be able to eliminate 2 already. No? 2 already. Yon. So, I think mas efficient yun kapag ka two ka agad ang nabawas, ang mababawas mo. So, sige. Let's take equation 3 and equation 1. Equation 3 and equation 1. I'm going to subtract equation 1 from equation 3. So, we have equation 3 minus equation 1. 
no need to multiply na kasi um, simply subtracting this uh, will already eliminate yung a and b natin. So, let me show you. I can show you the world. Sige, let's go yan. So, y double prime is equal to a e to the x plus b e to the negative x plus 4 c e to the 2 x. Okay. Subtracting it, ito, so lahat dapat negative. We're going to have minus y equals minus a e to the x minus b e to the negative x and minus c. Yeah, c e to the 2x. Okay. Now you might ask, why did we not multiply 4 sa equation 1? If we multiply 4, we'll fail to eliminate this 2. No? So okay lang yun. Later on, we'll try and deal with c later. Okay. So let's try and um, add this 2 up. So obviously, y double prime minus y prime, or rather minus y, equals, ayon. we have eliminated this 2 already, no? A and B, which gives us negative, or rather 4 minus 1 is 3, C, 3, C, E to the 2x. Yeah, let's call this equation A. Okay. Next. We can look at um, equation 4 and equation 2. They're the same, no? So equation 4 and equation 2, again, um, if I simply subtract 1, let's say 4 minus 2, equation 4 minus 4, uh, equation 2, may eliminate ko na kaagad si A and B. Okay. So let's try and do that. So equation 4 minus equation 2 will give me kasha pa kaya? Equation minus equation 2 will give me y triple prime equals a e to the x minus b e to the negative x plus 8 c e to the 2x and then copying equation 2 or rather subtracting so minus y prime equals negative a e to the x positive b e to the negative x and finally minus 2 c e to the 2x and this will give us what this will give us y triple prime minus y prime equals a here cancels out b as well 8 minus 2 is 6 6 c e to the 2x and so here's our let's call this equation b Yeah, this is equation B. So keep in mind that equation A, keep in mind um, equation A and equation B. Copy that because we're going to eliminate yung C naman na variable. Okay? We're moving to the next slide. 
So continuing. So equation, let's subtract equation um, B to twice equation A. So equation B minus twice equation A. This will give us equation B kanina is y triple prime minus y prime equals 6c e to the 2x. Now, subtracting it while multiplying 2 to equation A will give us negative 2y double prime plus 2y equals negative 6c e to the 2x. Ayun, we can eliminate Sina. Yeah. So, um, we have y triple prime here minus 2y prime double prime minus y prime plus 2y equals 0. You know. Yun agad. So, here we have it. We have y triple prime yeah. y triple prime minus 2y double prime minus y prime plus 2y is equal to 0 as our solution. No? So, it can be seen enough from our previous examples that it really would depend on the number of arbitrary constants as well as the functions. So far, we have dealt with e to the x. No? Let's take a look at another example. Trigono trigonometric uh, identity naman yung ating example. We have cosine and sine. So again, the same. We're asked to form a DE. Given the function y is equal to c sub 1 cosine 3x plus c sub 2 sine 3x. So let's solve. So we have, again, y equals c sub 1 cosine 3x plus c sub 2 sine 3x. Okay. Um, we have two arbitrary constants here, c1 and c2. So solving by differentiating twice, we have y prime equals derivative ng cosine i sign negative sign diba cos u is negative u sign u so uh, we have um, negative 3 c sub 1 sign 3x plus 3 c sub 2 cosine 3x kasi derivative ng sign i positive cosine okay Let's take the second derivative. We're going to have negative 9, 3 times negative 3 is 9, c1 cosine 3x. And then dito naman, we have negative 9, c2 sine 3x. Okay. So... We can notice here no, that we can factor out negative 9 in the second derivative. And it is simply just c1 cosine 3x plus c2 sine 3x. 
Okay. Now, isn't this c sub 1 cosine 3x and c sub 2 sine 3x? Isn't this function, this whole function here, isn't that also equivalent here to y? Okay. They are, no? So we can express it in another way as y double prime. So we have y double prime minus or rather equals negative 9 y. Or simply y double prime plus 9y equals 0. No. So we have completely, quote unquote, eliminated the arbitrary constants. In this case, hindi na tayo nag-employ ng adding and subtracting because it can be seen already that this expression here is already an expression of y. So substituting, then here is our answer, simply. No. Okay. Now let's take a look at another example. We have here x plus y is equal to tangent x plus c. Mm, interesting. In this case, yung ating arbitrary constant nasa loob na ng ating angle. Yan, medyo challenging yan. We have to recall some of our trigo properties. Again, we're asked to eliminate c for us to be able to form the Differential equation. This is also what we call the primitive solution. Ano? Primitive solution. So let's solve. We have we have y, or rather, let me um, write again the equation x plus y equals tangent. Oops. Tangent x plus C. Now, how are we going to eliminate C here? No. We need to remove C to this angle. And how are we going to do that? Well, simply by inverse tanging, inverse quote unquote tanging the whole equation. So, if we inverse tangent the whole equation, we're, we'll have. inverse tangent of x plus y equals x plus c. Yun! Na-eliminate na natin. Hindi pa pala, sorry. Natanggal pa lang natin sa angle yung ating arbitrary constant. Then what's next? For us to be able to eliminate the c, since it is a constant, we need to differentiate it. Right? So let's do that. What is the derivative of tangent, inverse tangent, arc tangent, x plus y? x plus c. So, yung right hand side and yung left hand side. Yeah. We differentiate it both. No? And this is easy. Yung right hand side at least because um, derivative of x is 1 and derivative of c is 0. So that would be simply just 1 plus 0. Now the challenge, so, ayun, pala. so x plus c is simple because the derivative of x simply 1 and derivative of c, a constant, is 0. So, but here is the challenge where the challenge lies. No? We need to recall our identities. What is the derivative of an inverse tangent? Derivative of an inverse tangent. Okay. Recall. Call natin ano? Recall that the derivative of inverse tangent u no, has an equivalent of u prime all over 1 plus 
u squared. Yeah. u prime plus is over 1 plus u squared. In this case, what is our u? Let u be equal to x plus y. No? And du or u prime will be equal to 1 plus y prime dy over dx. Derivative, we're differentiating actually here with respect to um, x, no? So, the derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of y is dy over dx or y prime. Okay, let's try and plug that in in our equation. So, the derivative of um, inverse tangent or arc tangent x plus y will give us u prime over 1 plus u squared. So we have u prime over 1 plus u squared equals to 1 plus 0. Kasi 1 plus 0 because um, x plus c no, is 1 and 0. Now, u prime is 1 plus y squared. So we have 1 plus y prime rather, not y squared, all over 1, I'm sorry, natama pala, sorry, sorry, u squared, 1 plus x plus y squared is equal to 1. Yan. By, according to my algebra professor, Mrs. Uh, Milagros, Mont the great Mrs. Milagros Montibon, the great slasher, <laughs> Mrs. Milagros Montibon, by multiplicative property of equality, no, wala daw kasing such thing as transpose or um, cross-multiply, then we're going to have 1 plus y prime equals to 1 plus x plus y squared. Yan. So, implicitly, This can be expressed as y prime minus x plus y squared equals to zero. Kasi one, one, zero. Yan. So this is our final. It's the final answer. Yo, all right, okay. So yon. So the challenge here was yung identity ng arc tangent natin. So do watch out for those because of course, um, the expectation or the assumption is that while you're not you you um, of course the expectation is uh, that you know these things. Although not necessary niya memorize niya lahat. The important thing is that you have working knowledge of this, okay? Working knowledge. Okay, let's proceed with our next um, issue or topic, no? Which is the concept of solution. If you will recall, no? During your algebra, the goal there was to find the values of the variable or the variables that will satisfy the equation. What do we mean by that? Um, we mean that for an equation to be true, it must be um, uh, the, the, the equation must be satisfied. In other words, kunare, if you plug in a value to the equation, it should get a similar value or a, a value that is equivalent to where it is being equated. Ganon. For example, the following algebraic equations as can be seen um, below. What do we do with them? No? So, we have 3x minus 2. 3x minus 2 quantity x minus 4 is equal to 5x and x squared minus 8x plus 15 equal to 0 and absolute value of 6x minus 2 equals to 4. Now, pause this video for a moment and solve for x mentally. Solve for x mentally. I'm giving you 5 seconds. Pause this muna and then return back and try to solve it mentally. Ready? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Pause. Pause. 
Okay, if you're back and your answers are 2, 5 and 3, and 1, then you are correct. Okay, actually, the same principles or the same principle is carried out to differential equations. The difference lang is that the solution for a differential equation is a relationship or an equation, group of functions between the dependent and independent variables such that the differential equation is satisfied for, for all values of the independent variable over a specified domain. In other words, kung sa algebra, what we're trying to satisfy is a quantitative value. In differential equations, what we're looking for actually is not uh, a quantitative value but rather an equation an equation or a group of functions no and we have to solve it to eliminate the derivative so that all that is left is a relationship between the dependent and independent variables x and or y okay now formally we can define it as this a solution of an nth order ordinary differential equation f of x y y prime and y to the nth is equal to zero is a function phi that possesses at least n derivatives and for which f of x, phi of x, phi prime of x, and phi to the nth of x is equal to zero for all x in the interval i. Okay, now let's take a look at an example. No? In this example, we are asked to verify that the function y is equal to x to the fourth over 16 is a solution of dy over dx is equal to x y uh, the square root of x i'm sorry x the square root of y what y raised to one half is also equivalent to square root tama so verify daw natin if y x to the fourth over 16 will satisfy and therefore is a solution of the given de okay so let's try and do that we have Solution. Okay. Now, if if y x to the fourth over sixteen is a solution, no, then substituting. it to all y below in this equation we have dy over dx equal to x raised to eh, x y raised to one half you no know? by substituting all y if we substitute this y all the values of y into this into the y's you no know? so y na ito at so y na ito if they both garner the same answer, then it is there for a solution. Okay, let's try that out. So substituting, we have if we have dy over dx equals x y raised to one half, then dy over dx, if this is y, what is the derivative of y? y prime is um, 4 x cubed all over 16, right? And um, y here is simply here. So direct substitute, we have x, x raised to 4 over 16. But this one is raised to 1 half. So we have to square both numerator and denominator. And we're going to have 4 copying nasa left-hand side of the equation over 16 equals to x square root or um, 4 times 1 half kasi loss of exponents. We're going to have x raised to 2 all over square root on 16 which is 4. Simplifying, we're going to have x cubed all over 16 and x cubed all over, sorry, 4 pala over 4 
executed over four. Since they garnered both, no? Therefore, the conclusion is, the conclusion is, y is a solution. Yon. So the answer is, y is a solution. We have verified it. So that's an easier example. That's an easy example, rather. How about this one? If C1 and C2 are arbitrary constants, determine if y is equal to C sub 1 sine 2x plus C2 cosine 2x. It's a solution of y double prime plus 4y is equal to 0. Let's solve this. So we have C1 and C2 as arbitrary constants. And we're asked to determine if, if this is a solution of this one. Okay. And now if we have y equals c1 sine 2x plus c2 cosine 2x is a solution. And y prime is equal to 2, c sub 1. No? If we differentiate it twice, kasi y double prime to, we have 2c1 sine 2x minus 2c2 cosine 2x, or rather sine x. Sorry, this is cosine. Sine Two x, and we have y double prime equals four negative four c one sine two x minus four c two cosine two x. We differentiated it twice because we're asked if um, this we ask if this equation no will satisfy this uh, differential equation okay so if we substitute it then if the following yan nga, our our solution then substituting it Substituting it to y double prime plus 4y equal to 0 will give us will give us the following. We have y double prime as this one. We have negative 4 c1. Inactor out ko lang yung negative 4. Negative 4c1 sine 2x plus c2 cosine 2x plus then 4y. We have 4. What is our y? This is our y. Okay. So simply copying that will give us. c1 sine 2x plus c2 cosine 2x okay you can notice that this that this two you can notice that this two this one and this one are both the same right so this can be expressed simply as negative 4y plus 4y right negative 4y plus 4y and, may nakalimutan tayo, this is equivalent to 0 no, sa dulo. So, this should give us equal to 0. Okay? So, this is negative 4. 
but is also an expression of y plus 4 y equals 0. So negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So therefore, 0 equals 0. Our favorite number, no? 0. Therefore, what is our conclusion? The conclusion is y is a solution. We just verified it. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's take a look at another example. No? So, mahilig tayo sa example. Examples based yung style ko ng teaching. So, let's try and solve here. The question is, is y equals to x squared minus 1 a solution of y prime raised to 4 plus y squared is equal to negative 1? So, let's try and solve and see and verify if indeed it is a solution. So, we have y equals to x squared minus 1. Ang tanong ay, if we're going to substitute if we're going to substitute this equation, papunta rito, will it have, will it all be equal to negative 1? Yeah, that's the question. So, y is equal to x squared minus 1. Let's take the derivative, first derivative, para ma-substitute natin, para ma-substitute natin dito, no? y prime, kasi may y na tayo. The first derivative is simply just 2x. Okay, 2x. Okay, so um, multiplying or substituting rather. This will give us y prime raised to 4 plus y squared equals to negative 1 will give us 2x raised to 4 plus y squared, which is x squared minus 1 is to 2 equals to negative 1. Okay. So expanding further, we have 2 x raised to 4, or rather raised to 4, so 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16. 16 x raised to 4, 16 x raised to 4, Plus, so ex expanding, expanding this x squared minus 1 will give us x squared minus, or rather x to the fourth, x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 1. equals negative 1. Yan yung ating gustong malaman if they will be equal to negative 1. Okay. Now, um, adding this 2, we have 17x to the 4th minus 2x squared plus 1. This is clearly not equal to negative 1. Right? So what is our conclusion then? Conclusion is y is not a solution. Okay. Y is not a solution. Yon. Okay, let's proceed. Now, let's talk about different types of solutions of differential equations. There are frequently many different functions which satisfy a DE. In other words, there are many solutions no, 
that may be present or available. Kumbaga sa line, um, if we still uh, remember our theory of lines, right? If we have here, for example, um, a line that uh, or a, a, a line that touches another line. So given this point x y, right? This is actually uh, an equation. There, the, uh, there will be an equation formed, no, that satisfies the two, no. So there, in this case, there is one solution here. Kasi dito sila nagmeet, sila nagintersect, no. Now in another case, one line, call it let L one, and then another line, na maaring magkapatong or na magkapatong in this case if this is one solution kasi nga they met here a point was satisfied in this case there will be many solutions no this is just an analogy no sa ating theory of lines the same principle is carried out sa differential equations no there could be one solution there could be many solutions. there could be no solutions at all for example, parallel lines, no? There could be no solutions at all. So, these are scenarios that are possible, no? But in essence, there are many solutions to differential equations. And we're going to talk about uh, actually different types of it, no? Now, a solution of DE are usually classified into general and particular solutions. Two types of solutions we have, general and particular. Let's go to each. First, let's discuss about general solutions. A general solution is a solution which contains a number of independent arbitrary constants equal to the order of the DE. Ano daw? Sa simpleng sabi, kapag ka merong kang solution, na merong arbitrary constants, if you have solutions that uh, arbitrary uh, constants are present, then that is a general solution. So, in, in this case, a general solution embraces all of this and all possible solutions can be obtained from it. Here's an example. No? For instance, if an equation like dy over dx is equal to 4x, no? Yung dy over dx is equal to 4x four, can actually have or possibly can have a lot of solutions, a lot of possible solutions. We call them actually family of solutions. Now, if we solve for de here, we're going to have simply by um, direct integration, you know, we have dy um, cross multiplying dx here. Ah, sorry, sabi pala ni Mam Montibon ay multiplicative property of equality. Okay. And then integrating both sides. We're going to have y, 2x squared, plus c. As mentioned, this is very important to us. No? And this c could actually define the whole equation in many ways. How so? If c is equal to negative 6, 0, 8, and 15, as the figure shows here, the family of curves for the equation uh, y uh, is equal to 2x squared plus c. Ayun, ito nga yun. Pinapakita niya, no? For example, here, this is negative c, uh, negative 6 rather. This is at c is equal to 0, at c is equal to 8, and at c is equal to 15. So all of them having the same form, no? Are all family of curves noong equation na y is equal to 2x squared. So in this case, itong y is equal to 2x squared plus c, is a general solution and it embraces all of these possible solutions that can be obtained. The second one is the particular solution. Okay? The particular solution is a solution that satisfies given boundary or initial conditions and contains no arbitrary constants. So, ang difference niya sa general solution ay Ang particular solution ay walang arbitrary constants. At tinedefine siya or sinasatisfy siya gamit or given ng boundary or initial conditions. For example, 
in this familiar equation, h of t is equal to 1 half gt squared. When we have conditions such as h prime at 0 is equal to 0 and h at 0 is equal to 0, these are all conditions no? that will be able to um, eliminate yung c natin and or give a particular solution. So in general, application of the conditions to the general solution yields the particular solution. And now, yung ating conditions applied to the general solution will yield a particular solution. Okay. Let's take a look at, uh, at an example. No? We have here the velocity v is equal to v0 plus at of an object is defined as v is equal to ds over dt, where s is the displacement and v0 is the initial velocity and a is the acceleration. When t is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0, show that s is equal to v0 t plus 1 half at squared. So, ang pinapagawa sa atin ay ipakita daw natin. that s is equal to v naught t plus 1 of 80 squared from this equation. From this equation. From this, v is equal to v naught plus 80. Okay? So how are we going to do that? So we have the equation v equals v naught plus a t, right? But sabi natin, v is also equal to ds over dt here. So, ds over dt equals v naught plus a t. So, multiplying dt to both sides, we have ds equals v naught plus a t multiplied by dt. And then integrating both sides, we're going to have S is equal to V naught T plus A T squared over 2 plus C. Okay? Plus C. Now, dito papasok yung ating conditions. Sabi niya, when... S is equal to 0, yung displacement, yung time daw, T, is also equal to 0. This is actually what we call an initial condition. When S is equal to 0, T is equal to 0. Now, when are we, where are we going to apply this? We're going to apply, we're going to apply this condition in this equation that we have solved because this is a general solution, right? Now, when we have a part, uh, an initial condition or a condition, we can apply it to the general solution for us to garner a particular solution. So let's do that. So S daw is equal to zero. S daw is equal to zero when T is equal to zero. So lahat ng T dyan maging equivalent to Zero. So zero equals v naught multiplied by zero plus a zero squared over two plus c. Okay. So solving for c, we have zero equals 0 plus 0. Sir, ang dami namang 0 niyan. Nako, opo. No? Opo. So, C is equal to 0. 0. Now, now that C is equal to 0, we can actually um, substitute it back. We can substitute now that we have c is equal to 0, we can actually substitute it back here sa ating equation, which will show us indeed that s equals v naught t plus 1 half 
80 squared plus 0 no, really gives us s is equal to v naught t plus 80 squared over 2. Okay. Yon. Okay. So we have proven that when t is equal to 0 and s is equal to 0, it indeed is the solution no? or the velocity. Okay. Now, generally, if we can determine a value for c, if we can determine a value for c by using some given conditions, when the solution is, then a solution is a particular solution. Yon. As already mentioned earlier, a general solution contains arbitrary constants. If we have conditions, we can use that and apply it to our general solution for us to get the particular solution. So these conditions are called initial conditions or boundary conditions of the differential equation depending on when the condition is specified. So meron daw tayong dalawang klase ng conditions. Una, we have what we call the initial condition. These conditions are uh, specified at a given point of the same value. No? At a given point of the same value. So, the number of initial conditions depend on the order of the differential equation. Yan. We must take note of that as well. No? Kung ilan ang, kung ano ang order ng DE, kurare, if it is first order, then we can expect that the condition would be 1. If the differential equation has an order of 2, then the conditions would be uh, 2 as well. For example, uh, this is um, examples of initial conditions. These are actually read as, these are actually read as um, y at 0 is equal to 0. Okay? And y at 0 is equal to 1. Now, you may ask, ano yung nasa loob? For example, Kung meron tayong uh, function ng y of x, yan. yung x na yan yung nasa loob. So usually, um, diba, for example, we have y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 1. This can also be expressed as y of 0, or rather 1, kasi 1 to. So, yun, um, 1 to, kasi 1 to, no? or rather ito, 1 to, yun yung x natin. So, we have one equal to 1. Okay? So, saan galing yun? Ito, galing to dito. Then, ito, galing to dito. Okay. So, kaya ito yung expression niya. And ito rin isang expression niya. Okay? The second type of condition is actually the boundary condition. Um, yung boundary condition naman, given not of the same time. Hindi ko ata nailagay siya rito. Kasi sa initial condition, same value. Sa boundary condition, hindi siya same value. So to contrast, no? Um, for initial value problems, we have y of 0 is equal to 1 and y prime of 0 equal to 5, right? You can notice, you can notice that, um, 0 and 0 here are the same. So, initial value problem ang tawag doon or initial value condition. Sa boundary value condition, yung ating value for x, no, yung ating independent variable, different. No? Different. Yun. That, that's, uh, and that um, makes it different. No? The difference between the two. So, sa IVP, same sila. Nang... Uh, condition ng condition as per the dependent variable pero dito naman sa boundary magkaiba sila 
Yun. Now, to solve initial value problems and boundary value problems, we must first determine the general solution of the DE and then determine the value or the values of arbitrary constants from the conditions. Ayan, nauna pala. Sorry. Nagkabaliktad. So, dapat, ang boundary, kung ang initial value ay, initial value conditions ay uh, same, ang uh, same value, ang boundary conditions ay different points at different times. So, ito nga yung example. So, same lang din sila that the number of, the order of the DE is uh, the number of conditions present. So, yan. Can be seen, 2 and 1 different. No? So, initial, dapat parehas sila. Let's take a look at some examples no, and solve to better appreciate what has been learned. Okay. Alright, so we have if y is equal to a e to the negative x plus b e to the 3x is the general solution of for y double prime minus 2y prime minus 3y is equal to 0. Find the particular solution if the initial conditions y of 0 is equal to 0 and y prime of 0 is equal to negative 4. Okay. So how do we solve this one? Okay. Solution. Kunin muna natin yung y. Ito. a e to the negative x plus b e to the 3x. Now, the question is to find a particular solution. Now, binigay na yung general solution eh. No? The question is to find the particular solution using the initial conditions. Now, binigay na yung general solution. Ito yun. Ito daw yung general solution. Our task then is to find out A and B. A and B. Given this, two conditions. Why? at 0 is equal to 0, and y prime at 0 is equal to negative 4. Okay? So how do we do that? We first get the derivative of y, and then substitute it back, and or find a and b, you know, given the conditions. So, differentiate muna natin. We have negative a, e to the negative x, plus 3b, e to the 3x. Okay? Now that we have these two equations at y of 0 is equal to 0 condition, no? we can apply it actually on equation 1. Dito. No? Kasi ito yung y natin eh. Sabi niya, y is equal to 0. Ito daw 0 to. When x is equal to 0. Hindi natin ito pwedeng gamitin dito sa y prime natin kasi this is defined only for y. Okay? Later, no? Meron dito. Yan. That's why we differentiated it. Kasi there's another condition specified for it. Okay? So, let's apply. So, at y of... At 0 is equal to 0, we have 0 equals a e to the negative 0 plus b e to the 3 0 giving us 0 is equal to remember e raised to 0 is equal to 1 so this will become a simply and b let's call this equation Let's call this equation A. Or wag, baka mali ito. One na lang. Yan. Now, at the second condition, at y prime of 0 is equal to negative 4, this would give us Negative 4 equivalent to negative a e to the negative 0 plus 3 
b e to the 3 0 okay yon so negative 4 equals negative a plus 3b let's call this equation 2 okay so equation 1 and equation 2 yeah. so we have here two equations and two unknowns okay you can actually eliminate a here by adding the two equations, equation 1 and equation 2. Let's do that. No. Again, the goal is to find yung A and B to make it particular, right? So, equation 1 plus equation 2 gives us 0. A plus B, negative 4, negative A plus 3B. So, A cancels out. No, we have negative 4 equals 4B. Hence, B gives us negative 1. Okay, negative 1. Now, how about yung ating A? We can substitute B. We can substitute B here to either equation 2 or equation 1. It's a B dito or it's a B dito. And we'll have the same answer. In this case, mas madali dito. So, A can easily be seen here as from equation 1, 0 is equal to a plus negative 1. Therefore, a is equal to positive 1. Yeah. So, we have two equations. I'm sorry. We have already um, determined yung value ng ating constants. Okay, so to simplify, sorry, no busa ng space dito. So the particular solution will then be equal to e to the negative x minus e to the three x. Yeah, that's our particular solution. Determined A and B. Yeah. All right, our last example for this lecture. If y is equal to ax cubed plus b, x raised to negative 3 is a general solution for xy double prime plus xy prime minus y is equal to 0, find the particular solution if for the above equation, the boundary conditions are y of 2, y at 2 is equal to 1, and y prime at 1 is equal to 0. Okay, let's try and solve this one. Solution. Again, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay particular solution. We're asked to find the particular solution given that we have a general solution here. Ito yung general solution natin. Okay? So let's first write it down. I have y ax cubed plus b x raised to negative 3. Okay? Now, I'm going to differentiate this. Um, I'm going to differentiate it um, once, kasi y prime lang naman to, no? And then apply it later. So, differentiating it, it'll give me 3a, 3a um, x cubed. 
Ah, squared pala, sorry. x squared minus 3bx minus 4. Ayan. Minus 4. Next. Let's apply the boundary conditions. At y of 2, at y of 2 equals 1, this gives us 1 down equal to a 2 raised to 3 plus b. 2 raised to negative 3. Okay. So we have 1 is equal to 8a plus 1 over 8b. Let's call this equation 1. Now at y prime of 1 is equal to 0 at this condition, we're going to have 0. So, saan galing yan? Dito galing yan. Dito natin i-apply yung ating second condition, y prime at 1 is equal to 0, applied here, kasi siya yung may y prime. So, 0 is equal to 3 and then a x squared, but our x is 1 squared, minus 3 b 1 raised to negative 4. This gives us 0 is equal to 3a minus 3b. Let's call this equation 2. Okay. So, I'm going to teach you one technique to be able to solve this using your calculator, okay? Using calc -U. So, please, please bring out your calculators. Kung meron kayong Casio 991ES. Okay. Wait, let me just um, add that up. Okay, let me just bring up my calculator. Tada! Yan. Okay. Nakayan ko lang na ontia, ah. lagay ko dito sa mga gitna. So I can show you how to operate yung ating um, calculation, uh, comp computing for A and B using our calculator. But first, no, let me just lay out first yung. Um, Yung equation. Kasi here, we have equations 1 and 2, right? So, so equations 1 and 2, arranging this, no? Yan. Arranging this will give us um, equation 1. And equation 2 will give us 1 equals 8a plus 1 over 8b. And then equation 2 is 0 equals to 3a minus 3b. Yeah. So let's bring out our calculator. I'm going to bring out my calculator. Yan, ito. So, Casio 991 ES or Casio 570. Yan, wait Yan, ito. Okay. So, good. So, how do we solve this? <clears throat> Actually, we can solve it via yung calculator natin. Ano? And calculators are allowed sa ating um, exams. How do we actually do it? Let's go to mode. And then let's go to 
dun sa equation. 5. So, let's go to 5. And then, let's go to 1. Kung mapapansin nyo, this is our systems of equations. And dito, pinapakita niya, no? Yung differ, uh, different equations sa kaya niyang i-compute for the values of the coefficient. For example, a and b. So, a sub n of x, ito yung coefficient niya for x, coefficient niya for y, and then ito yung constant. So, tandaan natin yung equation kasi dapat yung constant nandito sa kabila, nasa right-hand side. Okay? Yun. So, we have to express yung ating equation such that itong mga, itong ating... We have to express our equations such that itong ating um, a and b ay magkakatapat as well as itong ating constants dito. Okay? Alright. So, let's go to 1 kasi meron tayong 2 equations and 2 unknowns. Go to 1. Yan. Kung mapapansin nyo, meron tayong matrix. Matrices. Or matrix pala. Sorry. <clears throat> we have a matrix here concerning of uh, the first row and the second row. Yung first row, pwede natin iligay yung ating equation 1 and then yung second row, yung equation 2. So, let's just put in yung mga coefficients niya. So, we have 8. Okay. And then we have 1, 8. So, 1 divided by 8 equals. And then yung kanyang constant is 1. Second row, we have 3. We have negative 3. And then finally, 0. And then pinutin lang natin yung equals. This will give us, boom, 8 over 65 for x. And then 8 over 65 for y. So yun yung a and b respectively, di ba? So yun. So from calc u. Oops, sorry. So from our calculator, um, it has been determined that from calc u. Lagay ko na lang po dito. It has been determined that a is equal to b is equal to 8 over 65. Tama ba? Yeah, 8 over 65. Hence, the solution is y. Napalita no space. Y is equal to eight over sixty-five x cubed plus x raised to negative three. Yan. Sensya na, kulang tayo ng space. I hope nakakasunod kayo, guys. Yan. That's it. That's it. Okay. Now, just a preview, no? An introduction to the <clears throat> methods that we'll be dealing with in the next few meetings. There are as mentioned already earlier, many solutions and many methods in solving those because there, um, there is no one-size-fits-all that solves every first-order DE. But actually, there are many methods to solve, this, uh, to solve particular types. So we will be looking at uh, different methods in solving those in the coming lessons. For one, we have um, separable variables, homogeneous functions, we have exact, linear, and then Bernoulli. Yan. We will uh, go to lengths to discuss so that actually one lesson per method. Yan. Very exciting. All right? Yan. So that ends my, that ends my presentation. Meron tayong problem set that I have um, included in our school book. So please answer that and submit it. Sa um, sa school book. And as um, instructed. No. Okay. That ends my presentation. Thank you very much for your time. And may God bless you. Let us pray the Lasallian prayer. I will continue, O oh my God, to do all my actions for the love of thee. St. John Baptist de Lasalle, 
pray for us. Live Jesus in our hearts forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. See you again in the next lesson. Bye.